just come to collect the rest of my stuff. Oh, well, listen, before you head off tonight, why don't we have a family tea? I'll get your dad over and I could cook whatever you want. You make it sound like it's the last supper. Well, I want to mark the occasion. It's not every day that your firstborn leaves home, is it? Oh, Mum, that'd be lovely. I'll do. Right, yeah. Oh, I think that's everything. Hey, thanks, Jess. You make it look so easy, this bit. What? Well, when you're on your own, you've got no choice, have you? You just have to get on and do it. Yeah, but you're not on your own. You've got us. Yeah, you know what I mean. See you learn to make task. <gasps> oh, sorry. Sorry, are we keeping you up? Yeah, I don't know why you're yawning. You slept like a log last night. No, sometimes you can have too much sleep, do you know what I mean? <sighs> don't rub it in. All right, shall we go and see Louise? Hey, Hope. Yep, see you later. Yeah. Have a good day. See you in a bit. See you later, all. I was up five times in the night with him. Well, you should have walked me up. Did you not think I tried? <sighs> Sorry, I forgot to say, did we pay the rent this month? Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. OK, ta. Yeah, see ya. Sorry, I forgot. Can you run to the bank later? Yeah, I suppose. Do you know what? I wish we had a childminder called Louise. In fact, I wish we had a childminder full stop. Well, she's only got one because she's working. I'm sorry, I've got to get rid of There we go. Have you had a shower? No, no point, is there? No one to keep clean for. Oh, is this where the gypsy violin start playing? Mum, don't laugh. My girlfriend's leaving to go to London without so much to buy your leave and ain't got no job. What's a buy your leave? Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not no, you know, rent at the minute, but life's not a bowl of watches, is it? Cherries. Hmm? Legs. You know, I think there is something obvious staring you in the face and you just can't see it. Yep, my life's pants, I get that. And your next statement is? Well, you know what I say, if your life's pants, you need to go out and buy a nice top to brighten them up. Turn a negative into a positive, Jason. What am I supposed to do, go begging? Because it ain't gonna happen. No, but then go with it. I mean, what's the difference between being unemployed up here or being unemployed down there? Are you trying to kick me out? No, I don't particularly want another son leaving home and going off to that London. But if it's going to make you happy, you faced this choice before with Sarah and you didn't go with her. I don't want you making the same mistake again. You know, Mother, don't listen to what anyone says about you. Because you are brainy. So? Uh, where are you going? I'm going to see Rosie. Oh, have a shower first. Oh. It's Sam Man Road. Hey, why don't I carry that for you? I'm carrying it. Hey. Don't speak to Carla like that. She's trying to be nice to you. It's a really lovely picture. It's a monster. Oh, it's a really lovely monster. Looks like you. Hey, that was a horrible thing to say. Kind of does. Listen, um, why don't I have a word with me, Dad, see if you can have Simon tonight? Me and you can have a bit of time on our own, try and remember why we're actually doing this, eh? I don't know, Peter. Well, I do. One day, this face is going to be covered in lines. Why? Bad night on the felt tips? No, you know, sleepless nights with the baby, stuff like that. Well, you have to get Botox in, won't you? Ah, oh, but you see, I don't care. Because every single one of those lines will show... <sighs> I'm a mother. <laughs> You're not going to work today? Nope. I've got a day off to help Tina move into a new house. House? I thought it was a flat. All right, flat then. Morning. Hey, darling. How excited am I? It's our 12 week scan today. Mm. Oh, you're so cute when you get it. Into cute, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a Walt Disney bunny, but with a hairier back. Right, I've got to go. Hope it goes well. All right, well. We have to get some new tea towels. I mean, look, this is practically threadbare. Well, look, map of the lakes, Keswick and the surrounding area, gone. Well, perhaps your new boyfriend could buy us some as a peace offering. Peace offering? You should buy him a few to apologise for your manner with him. <laughs> I wasn't trying to sabotage his business like he was mine. Oh, won't you? The phrase spammer in the works springs to mind. But he will not be put off. Oh, no. He's not still going ahead with it? Yes, he is, Roy, and I'm glad. Because that steakhouse is my future. It's my nest egg. So think on and look sharp. I'd rather hope that he'd jet off back to America. One-way ticket. Well, how can I build my future from the other side of the pond? No. He will be sticking around. And do you know why? Because unlike you, that fella has backbone. Oh, oh look, I put my finger straight through Coniston water. Well, that can go in the bin. 
It's an idea me and Stella had. A surprise party. Lovely. Oh, is that lovely, Gail? For Eva. What's the general idea? I love a surprise party, me. At the Rovers. You like a surprise party, no, Gail? I don't. Look, I know Stella's not your number one fan. Oh, Gail. Because she doesn't like you. I'm your mother. I want to protect you. Now, that's a good thing, so don't you criticise me. Did I say anything? How about supporting me and slapping on a smile and coming? Well, you can count me in, sweetheart. And of course your mother will be there. She'll be too scared of missing out on some gossip otherwise. Mum, you make me sound so shallow. If the cap fits, sweetheart. And you can wear that new designer blouse you bought yourself from the precinct. You've been dying to find somewhere to wear that. Oh, now, come on. You know you want to. Oh, all right. I will go to the ball. <laughs> No. Quick, quick. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, shh. Don't cry. Don't cry. Shh. Come on. Don't cry. Hiya, Leslie. Oh, hiya. You okay? Yeah, just having a bit of lunch. So, uh, how was the posh hotel? <sighs> hotel is pushing it. Glorified B and B, more like. Candlewick bedspreads. You psychic. <laughs> Why don't we uh, sit down, Leslie? Oh, I'm not stopping. No, no. We can sit down. Go on. Hiya. Hiya, Leslie. You look worn out. Yeah, I haven't slept. Leslie couldn't settle. She couldn't make out where she was. Poor oh, thing. Yeah. And a looker like me needs his beauty sleep. Mm, me and all. Plus the 28 litres of water. <laughs> and a cup of tea. Lifesaver. Leslie, cup of tea? Oh, I'm not stopping. No, but we can have a brew. Go on, make one. You know, if things are getting really lousy at the B&B, &B, well, the both of you could always stop here for a bit. I don't know. You haven't got room for a start. Actually, I have, because Jason's decided to move to London, so you could have his room. Oh, it's really sweet of you. Look, I know that this isn't... Oh, it's not going to be forever. I suppose, yeah. And I am thinking of Leslie. Thank you. Babe, do you want this bra top? I don't really want to throw it out and it's too good to give to a homeless person. Rosa? Yeah? When are you going to be honest with Jason? Sophie, will you stop having a go at me? I'm just trying to make it so I don't hurt him. Well, you're lying to him, Rosa. It's bound to hurt him. Right, Sophie, just let me handle Jason. I know you mean well, but look, all I know is I wasn't completely honest with Shania and look where that's got me. I just know that's him. You know, it might not be. That Jason? Yes, so. Hiya. Hey, babe. You okay? Mmm, -hmm. mm, you smell gorgeous. Yeah, I just had a shower with that peppery body wash you bought me. Ah, oh, amazing. I'll, um, I'll leave you to it, yeah? Babe? Mm hmm I know, like, this shows your big break and all that. I'm going to be a dramatic star, Jason. It doesn't get much bigger than that. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to hold you back. Everyone around here thinks I'm a joke. Yeah, well, I don't. Mm. Well, if I do this, it shows that I am serious about my career. Well, I can't exactly get my head around it myself. I'm not happy here, Jason. Traipsing around bars in hot pants and roller skates. <laughs> handing out flies and free vodka shots. Wondering when I'm going to get my big break. And here it is. I mean, I might be hurting the people I love by doing it. But if I don't take it, if I don't go down to London... No, I think you should go. Then I'll just be this stupid girl on skates wondering where her life went. No, I get that. And you have to go to London. Thanks, baby. But I'm going to come with you. We'll get our own flat, we'll be out every night, me and you together. How brilliant will that be? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I better get packed, eh? Mwah. See you in a bit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
don't. I haven't said anything. Yeah, you don't have to. I can tell by your face. Well, you know, it's got potential. Yeah, right. Hey, look, it's close to our local amenities. Isn't it what's on the inside that counts? Hmm? Hmm? No, you know, it looked more homely once I've unpacked and stuff. <laughs> what's homely about a million tops? God, tell me what I've gone and done. Hey. Mm. Oh, and I've bought this gorgeous new top to match these shoes I've got. Oh, how fab. Mm. Hi, Stella. Oh, hi, Gail. Looking forward to our little do. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> That's why I popped in, actually, see if there's anything I could do to help, you know, anything I could bring or make. No, I think I've got all bases covered. OK, as long as you're sure. Very sweet of you to ask, though. Right, well, I'm going to make myself look beautiful. You've only got an hour. That was a joke. No, no, it was. Yeah, well, I'll see you later, then. Hi, Rosalie. What can I get you? Oh, my God, so you're like a barmaid now? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet at your age and everything. Do you want a drink? Oh, yes, thank you. Um, I'll have... Look, I'm not buying it. Oh, OK, I won't bother, then. I've just come here to see Owen. Um, could I have some FaceTime with you over there? Huh? Hi, babe. Hi. You know, that colour works really well on you. Which colour? No, no, just all of it. It's, it's just something I say. Oh. You know, like an icebreaker. Like a little random act of kindness. Gift from me to you. Did you want something, love? Yeah, Jason. I thought so. <coughs> no, no. Ends here. No, Owen, please hear me out. It just doesn't seem right. Jason being punished for something that was my fault. And it was my fault, all of it. I just made him lie because I didn't want to look stupid. Well, less stupid. And I am really, really sorry. Can you honestly punish a man for being in love? I'll think about him. Exactly a giddy kipper today, are you? Am I not? Uh, a thousand apologies. Oh, even a visit from Mr. Sarcasm. Mother, Milton is ploughing ahead with his plans without so much as a second thought for anybody else's, anybody else's feelings, anybody else's business. Well, well, that is awful. So forgive me if I am clattering about a bit, but I find clattering about a bit quite therapeutic. Clatter away. How do I look? Shame on you, Sylvia. But, but this is my best coat. No, shame on you for going through with Milton's nonsense. Oh, that old chestnut. Shall I tell you what is nonsense? Everything about it? The fact that Stick in the Mud Roy refused to buy into the whole shebang when he had the chance. You'll both be missing out. I fancy shebang is an Americanism you picked up from him. Most unbecoming. I'm not listening to this. Is your mother Roy. You've got to do something about it. Or do you want me to? Uh, no. No, no, no. I could talk to them together, both of them, him and her, try and make them see sense. Unless I bang their heads together first. But she is my mother. This is my mess. It's her mess. I will confront them both head on. Dr. Carter. Oh, hiya. How's the little fella? He's not brilliant. All oh, right. What's the matter? Well, I don't know whether to make an appointment, but... What is it? It's just... It, you won't stop crying, and I don't know what to do. Oh, has the midwife been out to see you? Yeah, but she said it was perfectly normal, but Fizzy's hope never cries, and she was a prime baby. Look, everyone's different, but believe me, the crying stuff, that's just a perk of the job. You sure you managed to cope, all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I was probably being silly, that's all. To my beautiful birthday girl enjoy her session at the spa? It was amazing. Except for the sound of the Japanese water feature, which kept making me think I needed a tinkle. <laughs> what are you doing now? I don't know. Do you fancy a glass of bubbly at the bistro? I really don't want to go home. Mum has been so off with me. I'm sure she hasn't. Uh, you weren't there. I don't know what you're sticking up for her for. Uh, well, me and your mum have been in cahoots. Cahoots? The wine bar off Ledbury Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it. 
Uh, we've been planning a surprise party for you. Oh, OK, nice. I always fancied cocktails on the 38th floor of some skyscraper or whatever. It's not quite as glamorous as that. Dinner at the bistro? Buffet in the back room of the Rovers. Oh. She just wanted to do something, that's all. Yeah, originality never was a strong point. What you're gonna do is come in with me, act surprised, and then we can go off and get hammered somewhere on the 38th floor. Only if we can make out in the lift. I've always wanted to do that. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Listen, mate, I just wanted a word. You can have an old sentence if you want. Very drill. Don't give up the day job. Well, I can't. You fired me. Yeah, and I, I may have been a bit hasty there. Listen, you're a good kid, a good worker. And yes, I miss your pretty face. Nice one, mate, but, uh, well, I'm going to have to say no. Really? Yep. I'm off to London. You are? Yeah, I'm going now with Rosie. Straight up? Yep. It's a bit weird. Why is it weird? Me wanting to be my woman. No, it's not that. It's just a... Well, Rosie was the one that came to me and practically begged me to take you back. Well, I've not long ago told her I'm going with her. Well, this is about half an hour ago, mate. And why would she say that? Well, something tells me she doesn't want you down in London. See ya. Yeah. See ya. Cup of tea? No, thanks, Dad. No, I'm not stopping. I'm just on my way to pick Si up from school, so... Yeah, how are things with Carla? Oh, well, they're not brilliant. Simon hates her. Things are kicking off at the factory. Sometimes wonder what I've done, you know. Well, what you've done, Peter, is you've made your bed, and now... Yes, yeah, all right. Don't rub it in. So, actually, Dad, I was wondering... Uh-huh. Uh, I just thought it might be nice if you and Deirdre had Simon tonight, you know? It'd be a treat for him, wouldn't it? Uh, did you know? Yeah, you know, a bit of consistency for him. In this ever-changing world in which we live in. Who said that? Go on. No. Deirdre and I will not have Simon tonight. Again. It's the second time this week that you've asked. Look... You're not interested in giving him consistency. You're just interested in getting rid of him. Oh, that's unfair. Come on. I'll tell you what's unfair, Peter. The chaos with which you surround that child. Oh, is it chilly up there, is it? On your high horse? Simon needs you, Peter, now more than ever. Yes, and Simon will have me. Sorry I wasted your time. Right. This pile is for the bin, and this pile is for the charity shop. Rosie. Hi, Jason. What's going on, babe? I'm just rationalising my wardrobe, babes. Why are you going to see Owen? Oh, I need to go and get something. Why have you told Owen to give me a job back? You know I'm coming to London with you. Oh, God. It's just, uh Well, I can't seem to get my head around it. Sit down, Jason. Why? Please, just sit down. Uh, sitting down usually means bad news. I want to go to London on my own. I'm sorry. I don't want you to come with me. Hello? I was just thinking, did you pay that check in? Uh, yeah. I left it on the table in an envelope. This will kill us if we don't get it. Yes, Chess, I've paid the rent, so can you stop going on, please? I'm sorry. I've got to go with the customer. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Please don't be upset. This is no reflection on you. Rosie, I love you. I love you too. I know it sounds mad, but... Then we can have a thingy, a long-distance relationship. It's only two and a half hours to London on the train. <laughs> if you don't want me to come with you. Is that what this is about, eh? Jason. Have you seen someone else? No! That Tony guy, the producer? No, I swear! He's about 40 or something. Then why can't I come with you? All right, OK. I owe it to you to tell you the truth. The reason why I've got to break up is I've got to be single to go on this show. Well, what sort of a show is it? Well, it's like 12 girls. 
and they're all competing to go out this really fit, posh guy who's loaded. You are? It's going to be really good exposure, Jason. What, so you're doing a... You're doing a dating show? Well, no. I mean, it's a bit more high concept than that. Where you have to cop off for the bloke? Well, well yeah, but, but it's mainly for the cameras. No, you don't love me. I do! Well, you love your career more. Jason, I hate doing this. I feel dreadful about it. But I just know it's something I've got to do. This show sounds well dodgy, Rosie. No, it's not. It's tasteful. I've spoke to Tony about it. Sorry, just, just let me get this straight. You want to split up because you've got a chance to be on TV? No, it sounds horrible when you say it like that. Yeah. That's because it is, Rosie. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.